Welcome to Mangalore University PCA First Semester C Programming Lab Part A Program 7. In Program 7, we are going to calculate and display the first n Fibonacci numbers. Let us see what is Fibonacci numbers. When you say Fibonacci numbers, it is a series of numbers which starts with 0, 1 and so on. So, What is Fibonacci number? When you add these two numbers, we are going to get the third number that is 0 plus 1 is going to be 1. Now we will add these two numbers that is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Then 1 plus 2 we will add will be getting 2. 2 plus 3 when you add you are going to get 1. When you add 3 plus 5 you are going to get 8 and so on. So like this when you generate some series that we call it as Fibonacci series. So now let us see how to generate a Fibonacci series by using a C program. So to start with we assume the first two numbers as it is. Say first number I call it as a F1 is equal to 0 and F2 is equal to 1. Now, whenever I want to generate the next number, I am going to add these two. So, I will be getting F3 is equal to F1 plus F2. Now, we go for the next series. We have completed the first three numbers. So, now we want to get the fourth number means we have to change our F1 and F2. So, this will become your F1 and this should become your then we will be able to add. So, where is this one? One is nothing but F3. This is F2. So, we will just replace. Next, after calculating F3, F1 is equal to F2 and F2 is equal to F3. And we go on repeating these statements till we get the number of elements. So, we keep a count of the number of elements. So, we can say initially see the count is equal to 2 or I can say i if I am using for loop i is equal to 2 and when I calculate the first f3 I will say i plus plus. So, that is i will become 3. Then I will repeat the statement again and again till I get the i equal to n. So, what we are going to read? We have to read the value of n number of turns then we are going to initialize two values that is f1 and f2 and then we go for your while loop or a for loop to generate the series then we will print the values let us go to the program this is the coding we include stdio.h and conio.h and we declare all the variables. We want three variables f1, f2, f3. n is the number of terms and i is the looping uh, variable. So clear screen. We initialize f1 and f2. Then we read the input for n number of terms. So then inside a for loop we start with i is equal to 2. Because two elements are already there now. So we start with i is equal to 2. i less than n i plus plus f3 is equal to f1 plus f2 we print the f3 as it is this is backslash t backslash t means tab it will leave some space that is you will print first element second element third element fourth element and so on this space we can call it as tab backslash t okay then we just initialize f1 is equal to f2 f2 is equal to f3 and we repeat this loop again and again till we generate the required number of terms. So, consider this output. When I say Fibonacci series number of n is equal to 5, I am just generating 5 terms in my series. When I say n is equal to 10, I am able to generate 10 terms also. It depends upon the number of uh, it depends upon the n value you are able to get the number of terms. 
विश यू ए हैप्पी कोडिंग